Okay, so um, I got back from Sweden yesterday and I've been playing around with this a little bit today and I've got a couple of things to show you. Okay. The first thing is here's the original that we were looking at in the last video and I've made a cylinder and the cylinder basically just fits over that original two electrode arrangement that we had. I've also made a small plunger. Now the interesting thing about this is um, it doesn't really work too well if you spray water into the cylinder. You really just need to put a little bit on the plunger just to make it wet. Drop it in there. I'll just put that in. <laughs> and there we go. It fires a plunger out of its cylinder. Now I thought that was pretty cool and that's one of the things that I wanted to look at. The second thing is it's quite a big and powerful um, setup that, a bit of a power hog really, it uses a lot of energy. So the next thing I wanted to do was reduce the amount of energy that was being used to see if we could get the same kind of effect. And what I came up with was this little arrangement. This is a full wave bridge rectifier, it's a 36 MB05A and that's a 1200 volt 35 amp rectifier. These are three um, photo flash capacitors, they're 350 volts each and they're about 100 microfarads and obviously they're in parallel. Now if I connect them up to my spark gap, Discharged before I touch it. So we're putting that to one side for a while. Connect this up to the original spark gap that I was using right at the beginning of this. Sure, we've got a bit of water on the spark gap. And so we're still exploding water there. We're exploding water with much, much less power. Okay, there's not that much power in those three capacitors. And, and essentially, it does exactly the same thing. Now, the spark isn't nearly as impressive as the spark from this, but that's no real surprise. Uh, I've tried that on the um, cylinder, and it really the electrodes are far too far apart. So the next thing to do really, I think, is to construct a um, cylinder with electrodes quite near to each other, and we'll see if we can get that cylinder to push up and down. But I still thought you'd be interested to see that um, we can in fact push a cylinder up, and we can reduce the amount of energy input required to actually burn that water. So we're burning the water now with far less energy. Um, we're obviously able to push up a piston, so all we want to do really is combine those two and get a piston to work off this lower energy system. And I'll be working on that a little bit and when I get a bit more of an update then I shall show you that update. Thank you for watching.